Hi, I'm Kronos with a video on how to quickly and easily purchase BitShares for the first time. We're going to assume that you've already set up your BitShares wallet and secured it. So in this video, we'll just look at how to put BitShares inside of it. It's actually built into the wallet, so we'll be demonstrating that in this video. Let's get started. Here we are at the BitShares Lite wallet at bitshares.org slash wallet. You might be at a different URL, but if your wallet looks similar to this, it's very likely to work exactly the same. Let's scroll down and click on the account name. Now you can see my wallet is empty right now. Under total value, it says zero BTS. There's nothing inside of it. That's what we're going to do in this video is purchase BitShares that are going to appear in that spot once it's done. Click on the account name, and then on the left, you can see deposit slash withdraw. Now, each of these options in the dropdown are different companies that service the BitShares blockchain. I'm going to be demonstrating block trades because I've worked with them before and they work well. They offer two ways to purchase BitShares, through a bridge and through a gateway. We'll be explaining the detail between those in this video, but you can see bridge and gateway here. If you click these links, you can actually read about the difference as well. So a bridge is a way to quickly and easily transform one cryptocurrency to another without any intermediate token. So with the bridge, let's scroll down here, if I send them one Bitcoin, I will receive this many BitShares. And it's simply trading with that company. There's no third party that I'm trading with. It's directly with the company. In this case, I'm trading with block trades. Alternatively, if I use a gateway, I receive a token that the company controls, which represents uh, a, a different token on another blockchain. So let's take Bitcoin as an example. I want to purchase BitShares with my Bitcoin. First, I would deposit through the gateway, and that gives me a token that BlockTrades controls that mimics Bitcoin. So I'm depositing Bitcoin, and I'm receiving a token they control called trade.btc. Now this is something that they back with their Bitcoins, and I can trade those tokens with the actual BitShares tokens directly on the BitShares blockchain. As you know, BitShares contains its own exchange, so this allows me to trade with other users of the BitShares exchange by trading my trade.btc for BitShares themselves. So this is a way, if you want to trade a higher volume, or if you want to get a better price or control your trade a little bit better, you would use a gateway and use the BitShares exchange to trade your trade.btc in exchange for the BitShares token or whatever token you want to purchase. But if you want something quick and easy, just choose Bridge and trade directly with the company. That's what we're going to demonstrate here. Now, I don't want to buy this many BitShares, so I'll just buy 1,000. So just change this number to whatever you'd like, and there's the amount of Bitcoin I need to send. I have some Bitcoin here on my mobile phone, so I will send some Bitcoin to this address and wait for that to confirm. It's not going to be instantaneous, so we have to cut the video here, but I'll be right back after that send. All right, the transaction's now been confirmed on the Bitcoin blockchain, and the company we traded with, BlockTrades, has already sent us the BitShares. Just take a look at the Overview tab, and you can see my balance is now 1,000. Hey, 1,002.5, I got two and a half free BitShares. That's fantastic. You can see in my recent activity, there's a transfer here. This is from BlockTrades sending me the BitShares. So I traded directly with them. That's the way a bridge works. And if we go back to the main tab, you can see here under Kronos Demo, my account, you can see my total value is now just over 1,000 BitShares. So that's the easiest way to quickly purchase BitShares for your wallet. If you want to make a large purchase, I would definitely recommend shopping around looking at the gateway option or using an exchange because you can often get a better price if you're controlling the trade yourself. But this is a quick and easy way to get BitShares in your wallet. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.